Hello my friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I really wanted to come on and do a reading with my friends cards. <laughs> anyway, I just, I actually think I'm going to do like a quick you and them to see energy check in for love. Interesting. On the bottom of this deck, we have listen to your heart. So perhaps there's some kind of situation coming up where you'll have to listen to your heart. We have this judgment card which has Chandler Bing on it could he be any more wonderful so perhaps you have a moment of judgment coming up perhaps you have a conversation coming up we also have the page of cups showing wish fulfillment or not wish fulfillment nine of cups wish fulfillment but we have you know perhaps an apology here so let's just let's just let's see what's going on here we have the world, so perhaps someone you're in no contact with or at a distance, someone who you haven't really had closure with yet. Interesting. So yeah, we're just going to do you and them, eight of swords, there we go. There it is, no contact, separation, overthinking. With Judgment and the Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords, this could be someone going through a dark night of the soul or like a very intense awakening or realization. Doesn't have to be. Interesting. Two of Pentacles. Trying to find balance. All right. So you and them. So we're going to look at, we'll go past energy. We have the Seven of Cups right now. So that shows confusion. You're not quite sure what's going on. This person, maybe if you're with this person, they could be making you feel or causing you to feel like you are an option, not a priority. Interesting. But we're going to look. So we're going to go, you know what? I'm going to go past energy first between you and this person. We have the six of pentacles. So it could have been... Six of Pentacles shows perhaps you carried most of the weight of this connection in the past, or maybe you were the one giving the energy, reciprocating the energy. It could have become unbalanced, you know? Like, just look at Joey, you know, with all those bags. Um, and I imagine it's Chandler that's with him not carrying any bags, you know? Um, we see this person trying to carry all the bags in by themselves, Um when that's really a two-person job. Does that make sense? We have the Empress on the bottom. So you could have been in distorted feminine energy and you could have been overgiving to this person, overgiving. Um, doesn't have to be. We do have the Empress here. So to me, it feels like you nurtured and gave to this connection, but perhaps, you know, this person didn't reciprocate it. Interesting. All right, let's see current energy between the two of you. Current energy between the two of you. We have the three of swords. Separation, heartbreak. <laughs> There's something really sticky on my table. Hang on. <laughs> did I just use my own spit to clean it? Yes, I did. <laughs> it was driving me crazy. <laughs> Maybe this person's energy is stuck to you. Anyway, every time I put my arm there, it was like sticky, sticky. It's like my juice or whatever. Anyway, current energy. We have the three of swords. So we do have separation, heartbreak, perhaps, you know, painful, painful circumstances here. We also have the queen of swords. So to me, it looks like you put up a boundary queen of swords. So you could be in this queen of swords energy right now with your boundaries up. You know, you don't want to be hurt again, is what I'm hearing. What's underneath this? We have the Two of Cups. So perhaps even though you love this person, they're your lobster. You have a boundary up right now. There's a coldness here, a need for you to... It feels like you stood in your truth or spoke your mind about something, and there's a separation now. Let's look at near future energy. Oh, that queen of swords is on the bottom near future energy we have strength and the knight of swords so we have someone coming rushing in towards you a test strength have you learned 
focus. <laughs> Have you learned your lesson? Strength and Knight of Swords. This person is coming in quickly, impulsively. It's like they get the inner strength to come and they just do it. We have the moon. Perhaps they want to talk to you. Perhaps they want to reveal something to you. This seems to show the bond strengthening. We definitely have someone coming towards you. I just want to get one more for strength. We had the three of wands wanted to come out and that's about forward movement. That's about progressing forward. So we do have this energy of moving, this connection moving forward, this person coming towards you, high priestess, there it is, wanting to reveal something to you, wanting to talk to you about something. You know, I feel like this is someone who's been holding back from you. Five, five, five on the timer. Um, hanged man energy. Eight of wands. Coming out of hanged man energy, communication, eight of wands. Telling you, something high priestess having the strength to come towards you and tell you something amazing amazing all right let's see their current energy your person's current energy oh my gosh that's interesting i'm not going to take this one but we have the lovers and the devil showing me this person feeling very very connected to you right now um you know, feeling very energetically attached to you, perhaps like that stickiness, like why won't this go away? Like, why can't I forget about this person? Your person could be thinking about you addictively right now or obsessively. Devil energy, Capricorn. Chariot energy. So they're thinking about how to come towards you, how to make you that offer of love, the lovers. Um, their fear could be really in their way here with the devil. This is someone who's obsessively thinking about how to approach you. Like they think about how will I do it? And what will I say? How can I make this right? What can I reveal to them? Interesting. There's fear here. This person could be going through, you know, an ego death or something or facing their shadows, but chariot energy, they you know, this is someone who thinks about coming towards you all the time. King of Swords with clarity, communication. Interesting. I want to get your current energy when it comes to this connection. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So you could be taking, you know, your life into your own hands. I feel like you're making adjustments in your life. You're healing. You're looking at the things you need to work at. We have the Magician. So you could be trying to manifest this person back in. Um, but you are making things happen in your own life. You're moving forward. And perhaps, you know, that's why this person is obsessively thinking about you. Because you seem like, you know, you're moving forward. We also have this Four of Swords. And it shows reflection. You know, you pulling your energy back for some reason. Perhaps because you weren't seeing the rewards of your investments. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Focus. <laughs> All right, let's see how your person is feeling about you. Oh, Queen of Swords, I told you. That was the second Six of Swords wanting to reconnect with you. Wanting to repair the disconnect. Wanting to reconnect. I. How many times do I have to say it? Jeez. Queen of Swords. So it's like they want to reconnect with you, but look, look at the fear. Look at your person's energy. There's fear about reconnecting with you. It's like, you know, fear of your reaction is what I'm hearing. We also have the star. So this person is, you know, thinking about how they can't let you go. How can they nurture this? How can they heal this? Focus. <laughs> Hmm. Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords. I'm hearing like they feel like maybe it would be dangerous to reach out to you right now just because they see you as this Queen of Swords. Like maybe you'll, you know, tell them to get stuffed. <laughs> All right, let's see how you're feeling about this person. How are you feeling about this person? We have the Empress and the Chariot. 
It's really, it's so interesting because I do feel like you have a love for this person. But when it comes to this connection, I see you as someone who is like, I'm moving forward. Like, I'm not waiting for that. I'm not, if they, if they approach me, great. I'm not chasing them. I'm focusing on my own path. Um, you could be, you know, planning a vacation somewhere. You could be taking a trip somewhere. You could be really learning how to nurture yourself. Um, interesting. I do feel like you want this person to come towards you. I do feel like you want this person to come towards you so that you can help them, I'm hearing, so that you can, maybe you're, you know, maybe you've done a lot of healing and you have, you think that if this person, you know, you could help them transform, I'm hearing. If nobody can see that, obviously, because it's backwards, it says smell the fart technique, and it's when he's teaching a class. So this is about you thinking that you can teach this person, I believe, something um, about forward movement, chariot energy. Interesting. All right, let's see what's currently blocking this connection. We have the Page of Swords, communication. Um, it could be clashing perspectives. You know, you guys could have had problems communicating. You could have had one opinion. They had another. And you just couldn't get on the same page. Page, <laughs> you just couldn't get on the same page. <laughs> um, page of Swords, yeah, clashing perspectives, lack of communication. You know, maybe this person didn't communicate with you. Maybe that's what this this is about. Maybe you had time to communicate. They didn't. The other thing that can be blocking this connection is it could be that your person is in school um, because the Page of Swords can represent a student. It can also be as a blockage... Um, you know, lack of learning about yourself, needing to learn more about yourself and the way you work. So whether that's you or this person or both. We have nine of swords. So anxiety is blocking this connection right now. Um, overthinking, fear. You know, like I said, I feel like your person has a lot of fear about coming back towards you. Maybe you have fear about it as well. Ace of Cups shows perhaps needing to work on self-love as well. All right, <clears throat> I want to see what this person's intentions are. We have the star. Wish fulfillment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have the star. So this person wants to nurture this. Look at how, you know, this person is caring to this plant, nourishing it, the empress, but also filling up this cup as well. Um, this person wants to heal this. We have temperance. I was just thinking that looks like temperance. The way that that is like watering the plant and then watering the cup. It's balance. It's beautiful. And now we have temperance. Focus. So we see balance. This person wants, intends to nourish and give this balance. Temperance energy. That's also reconciliation. King of Pentacles, this person wanting, you know, intentions, long-term stability. As soon as I come into the picture, it unfocuses. Long-term stability. This person intends to provide and protect here. Interesting. Let's see their next actions. Let's see their next actions. We have the lovers! <laughs> I'm so excited this card came out! <laughs> this is one of the reasons I bought the deck! <laughs> it was this card right here, their next actions. Love offer! <laughs> hmm. Remember? Do you guys remember the scene? I know the scene. It's the scene where she watches the video of the prom... And she sees compassion and she sees, you really did love me. Kissy, kissy. <laughs> I 
I love it. <laughs> Their next action is the lovers. A love offer, making a choice, offering you something, embracing you, kissing you. <laughs> oh my goodness, now I can't stop thinking about that scene. <gasps> That's Isn't that the scene where Phoebe goes? She's his lobster. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. Let's get one more. Aww, it's like judgment. <laughs> It's like your very own TV show. <laughs> You're living it. <laughs> Judgment. Taking accountability. Renewal. Conversation. Return. <laughs> Call. <laughs> Look. Look. <laughs> Look at the beautifulness. <laughs> we have the lovers. We have judgment. We have temperance. We have the star. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm drooling. <laughs> That's just too good. We have the Eight of Pentacles wanting to invest in this. I love it. Telling you what they've learned on this journey, how they've changed, how they've evolved, how they plan to invest in this connection by smelling the farts. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it does say smell the fart technique, though. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. What do we want to know now? <laughs> what do we want to know? Let's see what the next few months will look like for you. With this person. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the world. Interesting. So we have the Hanged Man in reverse. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So what I'm hearing is that this person is going to show you a different perspective of them. They're going to show you that they've changed. Converse sneakers could be symbolic. I keep noticing Converse sneakers. Um, this person is going to show you how they've changed. Knight of Pentacles, it's going to be slow moving. But remember, slow moving is good. Fast is not good. When you go from zero to 100, there's nowhere to go but down. Um, slow burn, I'm hearing. So it could be that it comes in small offer. Hey, how are you? Thinking of you. And then it's slowly, this person and you slowly surrender to becoming closer. We see the distance closing here, the world card. You know, completion. A cycle being broken. Patterns being released. Beautiful. Slow moving. So don't overthink it. Trust in the process. And we have the king of swords. swords so that's clarity and truth. Potential outcome of this connection. We have the Hierophant! <laughs> we have the Hierophant! Marriage! Marriage is what brings us together. <laughs> Princess Bride reference. Hierophant. Beautiful. Marriage. Spiritual connection. Your spiritual evolution. You evolving. Your spiritual powers and wisdom heightening we have ace of pentacles so we have stability coming between the two of you it's beautiful it's beautiful i don't know why i stopped it i still have one minute left on this one let's see advice for you what advice do you need three of cups so this is going to come in there's this social offer coming it's going to be like hey how are you or happy birthday or i was thinking of you um, just remember, this may start off slow. I'm hearing nurture the bonds of friendship so that your romantic connection can grow. So take it slow, Knight of Pentacles, you know, maybe become friends first. Maybe just practice interacting socially with each other, I'm hearing. We also have Nine of Cups. This is your wish fulfillment, so it's okay to take it slow as well and to trust in this. Beautiful. Nine of Cups, this is your wish fulfillment. I love it. And this shows flow. You know, if you don't overgive, somebody got really triggered by me talking about overgiving. And that's to me a sign that there's a wound there. But anyway, I'm an overgiver and it hurt me when I found out too. Um, I'm not saying there should be a limit. Anyway. Anyway, just remember the flow. You know, if think of 
you and your, you have a cup and your person has a cup and you need to combine those cups into one more cup completely even. So keep it even, you know, it's, it's really easy when you reconnect to be like whoosh, together forever again. Um, but keep it in flow. I'm hearing, remember you've been, this is your wish fulfillment. Positivity, keeping positive, you know, not jumping back into past arguments. Not that you're not talking about it. Of course you're talking about it. Judgment is here. So there's going to be a conversation where accountability is taken. But after that, this talks about adding positivity to it. Um, we also have three of wands, which shows forward movement and progression. If you can stay in your queen of cups energy, you know, learn how to give to yourself first before giving to this person I'm hearing. Although you've already learned that, I think. Anyway, yay for friends tarot. That was fun. Let's get you some cards now. So depending on how that reading was going to go, <laughs> I have these ready. We have the chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. So maybe you're queen of swords. You're done chasing. Cut it. Dishonesty. Your person does want to tell you something so perhaps or take accountability so perhaps they lied to you in the past i feel like you would know about this energy but maybe i'm wrong so let's see what we need to know sabotage let's see what your person is feeling how is your person feeling conversation i want to call in your voice <laughs> i told you <laughs> sabotage so this person wants to call you and tell you what they've learned eight of pentacles remember they want to communicate what they've been learning about themselves. Sometimes I mess up the good things in my life, which we all do. You know, I've sabotaged friendships, not, not on purpose. I've sabotaged relationships, not on purpose, but from a five of swords energy. So this person could have been operating from five of swords energy, you know, operating from a place where it was instilled into them by other people or past experiences or trauma or programming or teachers, parents. What's on the bottom? We have unappreciated. Maybe this person finally realizes that they didn't appreciate you. Let's see how you're feeling. I want to tell you the truth. So this could be that you have something you want to tell them or it could be that you want them to come in and reveal this truth um you could be feeling like too much time has passed here you know you could be feeling what could be happening is they could be coming towards you energetically and you could start feeling like maybe i should reach out and tell them i love them maybe i should reach out and tell them that i'm thinking about them has it been too long since we've spoken maybe i should reach out usually they reach out um, it could be that you're feeling that way right now. And I have to say, reminiscing. So you could be in Six of Cups energy longing for them because they're getting closer to you. Because they're thinking about you. Because they want to reach out and talk to you here. So you could be feeling that pull, like wanting to tell them how you feel. Reminiscing. All right, let's see what is coming up for these two. We have neglected, understanding. This is nice. Okay. So in four of swords energy, in detachment, you have both been healing. And we see this person is coming in, understanding about... I failed to give you what you needed. This person wants to bring you the understanding that the stress of being away from you is draining them. Again, they failed to give you what you need. You're both hurting from this. So this per this person seems to, you know, the light bulb is on. You know, they're that's why judgment was there because they're having they might call it an epiphany, like, oh, I just realized how miserable I am without you and how I shouldn't have done that thing or 
treated you in that way or neglected you or deceived you or lied to you, whatever it is. Okay, what else do we need to know, Spirit? Yeah, light. did I not just say light bulb on? Did I not just say it? You made me realize my shadow, my flaws, shadow side. You made me realize my flaws. Light bulb on. This person's finally understanding. Runner. I don't want to run anymore. Light bulb. I don't want to run anymore. And I'm overwhelmed from running. I'm tired of being away from you, I'm hearing. Destiny. You are my destiny. Any last words, spirit? Inseparable. Hope. <laughs> Look. Hope. This person hasn't given up hope. And I don't think you have either, if I'm being honest, if you're still watching this. Inseparable. Our love is always there despite the distance. Even if it's not physical, if it's emotional, it's always there. It always lingers. You can't outrun it. You can't outrun me, remember? You can't outrun it. You can't outrun a love like this. And when you do, your world becomes more and more overwhelming. Because it's a Hierophant connection. It's meant to teach you. Anyway, this person hasn't given up hope. Nine of Wands wanting to fight for this. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to get you some Hermit Tarot message cards before we probably get another deck. <laughs> Remember, listen to your heart. What does your intuition say? Yep. Yep. Here it is. Seven. Do you even see me in that way? This person is now wondering. I think you are too. Like, do they even think about me anymore? Because I feel like there hasn't been communication maybe in a little while. Wally's got the zoomies. Let me have you. Chariot energy. That's fast, fast, fast. Okay. <clears throat> I am absolutely in love with you, lover's energy. I know you can't see it. I am absolutely in love with you. Have I lost everything? Nine of Swords, which we saw in your person's tarot. Let's see how your person is feeling about you. We'll get a few. Interesting. If I could be your hero, baby. <laughs> if I could help push away the pain or whatever the lyrics are. If I could be your hero, baby. I could push away the pain. I could. I will stand by your side forever. Please don't take my breath away is that right or am i just pulling that out of nowhere i don't know six you could be my hero baby <laughs> remember your energy like <laughs> remember your energy um I'll, I'll show you that in a minute remember your energy of like i could help this person i could be your hero baby i just heard that i am terrified this person's terrified they've gone too far. Your family won't like me. Oh, dear. So this could have been someone where your friends and family do not approve because of the way this person treated you in the past. I feel the same way. Two of cups. You are right. Judgment. You are right. Communication. Blue. Communication of the fact that you were right. Whatever you said, whatever you tried to say, maybe you said, I could be your hero, baby. And they were like, no, you can't. <laughs> I'm going to run. <laughs> my kids just screamed when I said, I could help you or whatever. My, like one of my kids let out a blood curling scream. So maybe that was your person. Look, <laughs> your person imagines you naked. <laughs> I imagine you need <laughs> and think before you act. So this is someone thinking about communicating that you're right, but they're thinking, they're thinking it over before they come in. That's good. They're taking their time. That's good. That's what we want. All right. So let's keep going. <clears throat> Should 
So we see how you're feeling about this person. Let's see. How do you feel about this person? Ooh. I still don't have all the answers. So you feel unfinished business, I'm hearing. Lack of closure. Lack of answers. What happened? I just still don't know. Time to ground yourself. So you... You possibly communicated this. Look, it's blue. Time to ground yourself. You could have said that to this person. Like, it's time to look at yourself. It's time to ground yourself. You could also have felt, you know, Queen of Swords. You could have put up a boundary because you knew it was time to focus on yourself and your own truth. On the bottom of the deck, we have I need more time. So you could feel maybe you're not ready for this, you know, yet. And that's okay. You know, if this person reaches out to you, you can just say, when they reach out, you can just say, you don't have to open it, right? Right away. Even if you do open it, you don't have to answer right away. Um, you can take your time. Remember the Knight of Pentacles. Take your time. That was your advice. Let's see. I want to see if we can look at this person's actions towards you with this deck. Tell me about their actions. Ah, <laughs> oh, Eight of Wands. Ah, oh, Ace of Swords. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we have seven. I just dream and wish for everything. Chariot energy. It is seven of cups energy. So this person could be daydreaming about you right now. I have never imagined so much perfection. Nine of cups. Do you see how the energy shifts? 21 world card energy, which is what came out in their, in their tarot. You are so very special. Closing the distance, completing, closing, giving you closure, you know? Perhaps you, you have no idea if this person even likes you anymore. They're about to give you closure. You are so very special. I miss you. Do you? I am coming. Trust. An ace of swords. Which is communication and clarity and truth. And a breakthrough moment. And this person's higher self is telling you to trust because they are coming. Let's see. Emperor energy on the bottom. Um, what else can you tell me about this person? Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. My life started when I met you. And we have eight strength ego. And we have now is not the time. And what I'm hearing is we've got someone wanting to communicate. Someone's intuition is telling them, communicate, reach out to them. And their ego is telling them, now's not the time. Like their ego, for those of you who haven't heard from this person, you know, don't, don't give up hope. Their ego is telling them, now is not the time to come towards you. Remember, this is a general reading. So some of these people are going to be like right on the cusp of communication. Some of them will have already communicated. Some of them are still doing the shadow work before they're allowed to communicate, I'm hearing. So just keep that in mind. I have so much desire for you. Now is not the time, but I have so much desire for you. This could have also been with the combination coming out here that the the day they met you, their life started, and now is not the time, and ego. This can also be talking about the fact that they saw potential with you right away, but there could have been, they could have ran from it. They could have told you, I'm not ready for this. You know, their ego could have taken over, I'm hearing. Any last words, spirit? Any last words before I'm done? Oh, dear. Again, for some of you, this person is trying to balance their life before they come in. Um, we also have this person is thinking about you naked. <laughs> you make me want to do bad things. <laughs> 
So this person, little bit of codependent energy here, you know, obsessively thinking about you. So you're probably picking up on that energetically. One more. And then we'll get a different deck. One more, please, spirit. One cup. Ace of cups. I dream about you a lot. Too much. Reach out. I told you. <laughs> 711 7 7 1 1 could be symbolic 7 1 1 um july 11th could be symbolic anyway we have reach out and one cup so there it is this is coming here comes an offer of love ace of cups all right so let's get you some moon cards for advice i'll remove my hair from the deck <laughs> oh Where'd that come from? You make my heart full and I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, and I'm manifesting you. I didn't even see those. That was interesting. All right. Let's see what you are. Bring love into the situation. Just like the freaking advice said. Take it slow. <laughs> Add po positivity and friendship. <laughs> I'm, I'm slightly mocking you, spirit. I'm sorry. <laughs> but bring love into the situation. Compassion. This person, that could be symbolic of them bringing love into the situation, coming towards you with an ace of cups. Saying, I don't care. I love you. I've realized that I love you. Whoa. Nothing yet is set in stone. A personal issue reaches resolution. So if you're someone who thinks you're never going to hear from this person, this card tells you that you're wrong. If you're someone who feels like you could never forgive this person, if you are someone who... This is telling you nothing is set in stone here. This is still evolving. Every, like you, Whatever you want to manifest here can still be manifested. We have a personal issue reaches resolution. So like I said, for a lot of you, if you think this is over, nothing is set in stone. This is coming. Communication. Emotions are running high. So this could happen around... What is happening? This could happen around... We have two eclipses. We have a, a full moon eclipse, and then we have a solar eclipse. And emotions are going to be running very high, so just be careful you don't get triggered by this person during those times. Um, th this could have been a very emotional connection, very intense. Your dreams need a practical plan. So if you're someone who's like, I want them back. No, I don't. I don't care if they never come back. Yes, I do. Your dreams need a practical plan. You know, you need to, I'm seeing that card, decide what you want so that it can come to you now. If you're someone who goes back and forth between wanting to hear from this person, that could be causing a delay here. A new start is coming. Confirmation. Confirmation. New start. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm going to leave it here. I hope this resonated and I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you later. I'm sending you lots of love and light and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.